I'm Rob McClure, and I have had the sublime honor of collaborating with the Pops a few times now, but the second time was particularly memorable. Steve Reinecke asked me to sing You're Never Fully Dressed Without a Smile from Annie at Carnegie Hall with a group of very special kids from the Ronald McDonald House. It was a collaboration between the Pops and the Ronald McDonald House, one they've done before and will do again, where they can make dreams come true for some kids who are going through unimaginable struggles. That night, as we were gearing up to all make our Carnegie Hall debut, I met a girl named Ari, a little girl who was rehearsing with us. She was all bundled up. She was cold. Uh, she was going through some pretty horrific treatments at that time. She had no hair, so she was wearing a knit cap with long yarn braids. So on the lyric, it's what you wear from ear to ear and not from head to toe, that matters. I got behind her and held out her yarn braids. It's what you wear from ear to ear and she giggled in rehearsal. That night, we had our places call and Ari walked out in a ball gown, still wearing her little yarn cap with her long yarn braids. And I said, you kept your hat on. And she said, yeah, we came up with a funny bit. I thought we should keep it. <laughs> so we did, and the audience loved it. And Ari's dreams of singing at Carnegie Hall came true that night. I kept in touch with her and her family and they actually came and saw me in five or six more shows around the country before Ari sadly passed. But I still keep in touch with her family and her mother, who tell me that that night was one of the most special nights of her life. And the Pops made that dream come true. The work that the Pops do is unmatched, and I'm proud to collaborate with them. If you want to find out how you can help, go to newyorkpops.org slash relief.